Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is again my privilege and a blessing for me to speak to you through Grace Television Studio. God has been so good in our life that He has led us until this day. Just keep trusting God, believing in God, praying always in His presence. Jesus is going to do great and wonderful things in your life and God will bless you abundantly. Just meditate the word day and night. Keep focused in prayer. Praise God always. Just be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let the Spirit of God lead you because He is the God who is going to lead you into all truth and understanding and make us a victorious person in this world. So keep trusting God. Keep praising God. And Jesus is going to do great things in your life. And this day, I like to meditate a portion from the Bible and just pray with you. Just turn your Bibles to 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. It says like this, Therefore be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. Be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. The things that we are undergoing today, it might be in our nation or in different places or wherever you are. The things which is rising up against us, do not be terrified by it. Do not be afraid by it. Just keep on meditating the word. Keep trusting God. Keep praying. God is in control of everything and God will never let us down. God is going to show himself to the people who are just climbing against us and destroying all the church and the peace of God's family. And definitely Jesus is going to show them that he is the living God and God will do great and wonderful things in each one's life who have believed and faith on him. That is what Peter says here. When he writes, he says, Therefore be patient, be calm, be cool. Just keep praying. Do not worry about the situations because the situation changer is with us because Jesus can change anything upside down in a moment and things will change upside down. God can feed you from heaven and God can do anything which is in need. So keep trusting God. He says, Therefore be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. Until the coming of the Lord. The coming of the Lord has been preached from my younger age, my little age. And before that. And the coming of the Lord is at hand. The signs and the things which are happening in and around us shows us that he is at the doorstep. That is what Peter is telling. Therefore, be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, waiting patiently for it until it receives the earthly and later rain. You also be patient. Establish your heart. He says, be patient, establish your heart. The coming of the Lord is at hand. Our Lord is going to reveal himself quick as possible. So keep trusting God, keep waiting on him. And God is going to show himself. And God is going to do great and wonderful things. You have to be patient in all those things. Do not worry, do not bother of the things that you're going through today. If you're feeling that the person is afraid, the person is being terrified by the worldly people. The people have been afraid in lot many places. They have been beheaded and lot of things happening around us. Just keep praying because the Lord is at hand and God is going to glorify all the people who gave up their life for the sake of God's kingdom. And Jesus is definitely going to do wonderful things in your life. God is going to show himself. That is what Peter says. You also be patient. Establish your heart. For the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not grumble against one another. Do not grumble against one another. Just hold the word of God. Just keep moving forward. Love each other. Because God says love your enemy as yourself. Just put on the word of God in your life. Bring it to action. It might be a toughest thing that you can do. But still with the presence of God, with the Spirit of God filled in you, you can go through such situations where the Spirit of God will strengthen you and make you a successful person. He says, do not grumble against one another, brethren, lest you be condemned. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. Behold, the judge. Because Jesus, when he comes again, he is going to come as a judge. He is not going to come as a savior. He, is, he has come as a savior and he has gone to the father's right hand. And when he is going to come again, he is going to come 
as a judge. So when you are in the Lord, you are going to be judged perfectly and you will inherit the kingdom of God. The people who rise against us will be pushed into hellfire and that is what we pray. That is what we preach the gospel because those people do not know about the kingdom of God and we allow them to know about the kingdom of God and save the souls from hellfire and that is what we are doing right now. Even though we are going to the hard and toughest part, do not worry, do not bother yourself, do not hold yourself back completely filled, choked in the Spirit of God, just keep moving forward, definitely Jesus is going to show himself and do great things to you. That is what he tells in the Bible. Be patient. Be patient. Do not worry. Are you suffering of chronic diseases? Do not worry. Tell everything to Jesus. You are going to be healed. As you are watching this program, are you having a chronic disease which cannot be healed by the doctors? Do not be terrified about that. But call upon the name of the Lord and you are going to be delivered. The Spirit of God is going to rest upon you and everything is going to change in a moment. Are you suffering of losses? It might be your, in your business or your family or anywhere else. Do not worry. Tell everything to God. God is going to change your situations. Trust God. Keep on moving with God. Jesus is going to show you great things in your life. And he is a God in our life. He is a father who can be trusted at any point of moment. He can change the world upside down. So keep trusting God. Have patience in him. Don't grumble against each one another. Brethren, lest you become condemned. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. And verse 10 says, My brethren, take the prophet who spoke in the name of the Lord as an example of suffering and patient. They were suffering, still they were patient in all the things. So you have to be patient. Keep meditating the word of God. Keep praying. If you see the people suffering, if you see a pastor suffering, if you feel the people are suffering and be aided in many places, you cannot do anything going over there. But you can still pray in the presence of God for those family who have been suffering. But the end is going to be glorious. Because Jesus, when he comes... Everything is going to change and he knows the people who gave up their life for his name's sake. And they will be glorified. We also will be glorified. So hold on to the word of God. Just be patient in all the things. And God will show you great things in your life. And he will bless you to be healthy. He will prosper you in all the things that you do. But you have to meditate the word of God day and night. Allow the Holy Spirit in your life to be with you, to walk with you. And Jesus is definitely going to show you a way where there is no way. And he will bless you abundantly. So whatever your situations are, whatever your problems are, just put it in the feet of the Lord. Just keep praying. Believe in God and he is going to do great things. So as we were moving forward in this television ministry, we have a lot of obstacles in and around, but still God was in control. Step by step, he has brought us forward until this day. And I believe if the coming of the Lord is delayed, we are going to go in here and meet the complete world, bring them to the kingdom of God. And Jesus will show himself and do great things through us. So keep trusting God. Hold on to the word of God. Just keep praying. Just meditate it day and night. And God will show you great things in the days to come. And he will reveal himself and you will be a blessing in those days. So don't be worried about your personal life, your family life, your children, your spouse or anybody. Just put everything in prayer. God is going to change it and you will be a blessing. And with this, I like to pray with you. And again, I ask you to be patient. Just be patient. Just be calm. Just keep praying. Things will change. Definitely things will change. The situation of yours will change. And God will strengthen you to be a mighty man and a woman of God. And God will use you for his glory. And you will be marked by the kingdom of God. And God will bless you. Shall we bow down before God and pray a word of prayer? And God is going to do great things in your life. Shall we pray? Precious Heavenly Father. I just pray for the people who are watching this program right now. 
Lord, as I pray, let the Spirit of God strengthen them, allow them to be patient. And God, change all the situations that they are undergoing today. And I come across all the demonic powers which are standing against them. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke those powers. And I command complete blessing and healing upon the life of those people. Bless them abundantly. Bless them abundantly. And I commit each and every one into your mighty hands. Give them the peace of mind, the joy of Christ. Let the families be blessed. Let the children be blessed. Let the business be blessed. Let the ministries be blessed. As they pray in your presence, fill them with more power that they will wait upon you all the time, O Lord. I commit each and every one. Spirit of God, take control of them. Lead them into a good path to glow, keep glorifying your name. And I thank you for hearing me right now. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Beloved friends, keep watching the programs. Like this channel, subscribe it, share it to your friends. Very soon, we'll be launching this into satellite and you'll be watching all our programs through TV. We always pray for you. If you need prayers, see the number beneath the screen. You can free feel to call us anytime. We are available for you. And do not forget to pray for us. God bless you. Have a nice day. Amen.